This is a different camera angle. We'll see how it works. My message today, today is actually election day. And this has nothing to do with the election. This does have to do with a vote, however. City Council in my town, Fountain Valley, nice place to live, is working on an item on the agenda. It's number five in the consent calendar. And it's still open to public comment if, some, if someone pulls it from the consent calendar, or I believe even if a public commenter chooses this item and fills it out saying that's what they want to speak on. There will be some people speaking on it. I intend to speak on it. Um, people in the same mind frame as myself will be speaking on it, and I expect a lot of people with an opposing viewpoint will be speaking on it as well. It has to do with the contract that Fountain Valley is voting to sign to um, incorporate the whole city of Fountain Valley into a contract with OCPA, Orange County Power Authority. I believe that not enough due diligence research has been done. I believe not enough noticing of the public has been done. I would highly request the City Council to extend this, continue this for a future vote, not to vote finally tonight on it. Um, the One of the people on City Council has boldly stated that if you are not for this, you are anti-business. Said that at the last City Council meeting. I found that to be arrogant and um, I believe those words were ill-chosen. And I believe not enough research has been done, and the public has definitely not been given enough notice. Please continue this. Please, if you care about knowing what's going on, because you have the opportunity to opt out. They're switching everyone away from Southern California Edison, who has a green program of sorts, to this, which is allegedly a green program. However, doing the research, you see that there are different tiers of discount and it's basically they've been accused in the past by various cities of um, being waved on by my gardener <laughs> such is life they've been accused in the past of bait and switch they will offer a low tier and make it look like a great discount and others have done research and said the discount is not that great in addition to that they try and upsell and they do have what they call their green option has a high percentage of unallocated power source which means you're being led to believe you're buying green energy wind solar whatnot and indeed it could easily be from fossil fuels from coal from other sources there's no way of knowing to get the discount rate you have to agree to go along with this particular version as I understand it I am NOT well versed freely admit that I have not done enough research to know why I don't like it. I just don't like the rush. I do not like the rush. I do not like the citizens not knowing what's going on. I do not like everyone being ramrodded into it and being said, oh, well, that's okay. Everyone can opt out later. Do you know how many people I encounter? I walk door to door during my campaigning. And I was going to say it's not about the current election. It is not about that. But the truth is I go door to door. I visit people. I went to a senior apartment complex. A lot of people are caring for their elderly seniors in this city. So you're adding an extra burden on top of people who are already the sandwich generation burdened with elder care. This is not okay. This is not cool. This is not the America that my, my family members fought and died for to protect our freedoms, this is a lack of freedom. And we, for so many times that the city says, oh, our hands are tied, Sacramento is making us do this and that and the other thing. This one, Sacramento is not making us do this. This is just, uh, they had their first vote in the last city council meeting. They voted four to one to sign the contract. Tonight is the second reading. And theoretically, if they vote on it tonight, it's a done deal. Now, isn't that a really odd timing for a decision this big that impacts everyone in the city to take place on election night when most people are busy elsewhere? This is not okay. This is not ethical. This is not transparency. I do not approve. Please, if, this, if you feel the same way I do, please show up at the meeting if you can. 
call in on Zoom if you can. In lieu of that, please email City Council, the manager, the, um, go ahead and email fvproud.gov. That will get the message to all the members of the City Council. There are individual email addresses, of course, I just, I'm driving a car at the moment. But I feel so strongly about this, I don't want this message to languish. Please, pay attention. It does impact every one of us. Please just ask them to delay the vote. Even if you agree with what they're talking about, have enough decency and intellectual, intellectual integrity to ask them to delay their vote. Just continue it, make sure the citizens know what's going on, make sure you get consensus. My pref preferred method of leadership happens to be consensus leadership. You know, it's called the democratic process for a reason. Enough of that. Please, this is about OCPA getting a stranglehold on Fountain Valley, and they're, they're really stacking the deck. They have the CAC group, which is a, a climate advocacy group. They're chortling up their sleeves. They're laughing at us. I've seen one of their Zoom meetings. They have a very strategic plan to address the addressable members of city council, which are the four um, that they claim would be very conservative and easy to manipulate. They're even saying this. They're easy to, easy to persuade. We'll say that. I haven't seen the video in over a week but I did see a Zoom video of one of their meetings and it was very unsettling. It looked like I was watching a bunch of hunters in a duck blind de determining which ones to pick off. And they clearly stated one of them is not likely to vote for it, one of them tends to vote against the group, and um, so they kind of have written off that person as someone they can persuade. What does that tell you? What does that tell you that outsiders trying to manipulate us know which four members of our city council are the most persuadable. Please just ask him to delay the vote. That's all I'm asking for. That's it. Please. Thank you.